So here's your fourth scratch you're going to learn. This is a very invaluable scratch. And actually, if you got this scratch perfect and stopped here, it would be very easy to sound like a pro. Again, ready? Let's go. We're going to be looking at the stab scratch. And the stab scratch is just a baby scratch. It's, very, it's a fast baby scratch, but the important part lies with the fader movement. This is your first fast fader movement you're going to need to worry about. So you're going to be going forward on the record, and all you're going to hear on the speakers is the very beginning of the sample. So look at how the fader starts closed, is open very quickly, the record moves forward, and then the fader closes again. Watch. Open the fader, move forward, close the fader, move back. This is all very important that you keep your fader hand relaxed because it'd be very important to tense up at the beginning and it's also important to practice it very slowly like I just showed you. But ultimately, you'll get to the point where you're going. But only after you've done it very slowly. Okay? Go practice.